Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're reviewing some Marvel Legends figures from Shang-Chi. Let's get to it. Just to quickly touch on these boxes before I throw them away or something. They look really nice. I think I reviewed them already in that big box video. So make sure to look at that, or don't, or whatever. Shang-Chi looks great. Katie, Wenwu, Zha Ling, Death Dealer. They all look really nice. On the back we got some good stuff. Nice Shang-Chi in his bio, along with Katie. Wen Wu. We also have Zha Ling. Death Dealer. The whole wave down here. See them the other side. The fronts just have their names and everything. It's very standard ho hum. So we've already been over this. Let's get to the figures. I also forgot to mention on the top there's a little thing right here that's really cool. A little symbol on the bottom. All the legalese. Just be aware, letting you know, I might mildly spoil parts of the film. I don't think it'll really affect your enjoyment that much if you haven't seen it yet. But, just letting you know, there will be some spoilers. So Shang-Chi is a really great character here. I liked him a lot in the movie. As far as the figure goes, it's one of the best, I think, out of this wave. Looks really nice. Let's go on the face right now. Looks really good. A little plasticky, but it's fine. Good expression, too. Very just sort of calm, collected, chill. Really nice sculpt work on that. The paint's good on the, f on the face and the head, too. Looks very good over here, and the eyebrows, and the lips is good too, the hair is one big massive black, but the shading on that looks really nice, or at least the sculpting looks really good. Very cool. It's on a dumbbell joint, so you get a lot of articulation here, up and down, all the way around, however you want to do it. Looks really nice. As far as the torso goes, very good front torso right here, sides as well. The back leaves a lot to be desired though, I'm not a big fan of it. It doesn't look that great. It's just really blank and empty. I wish they painted these lines. They really should do that. The front is fine, but come on, Hasbro, paint the back. Please. Crunch down pretty well. Crunch back very far. I wish they focused more on the down crunch. Swivel over here and the waist all the way around. Goes up this far. Rotate around. Elbow. Down. Swivel at the hand. Up and down. Looks very nice. These pants are amazing. I really like them a lot. You can swivel here, there. Really good leg articulation for kicking and flips and stuff. Goes down this far in the foot, up this far in the foot, rotate around here, rotate here. Splits out this far, hindered a little bit by that. Up this far, and back that far. But yeah, very good figure. I like him a lot. He, he has really good stuff. I just wish they painted the back on him, mostly. As far as accessories go, he has two hands to hold this thing. I have no clue what this is, probably some kind of staff or whatever. Your, his hands easily, pretty much easily clip into there. That's good. One, and then two. You easily just take the hands off of here. And then place them into here. And that works out really well. Got some good staff holding technique. Very nice. That's good. They also have little sort of like handles here so you don't slip onto this sort of groove. It also is pretty cool if you twist it around. It looks really nice. It looks like this sort of groove is moving up into the stopper. Very good over here. He also comes with these sort of like snapping hands or whatever. Looks pretty cool. Very nice. I'm not sure if they mean anything in the sort of culture this film's going for, but it's pretty cool. Very nice hands over here. Yeah, that Shang-Chi, great figure. I like him a lot. Kitty is one of the best characters in the film, aside from Shang-Chi. I really like the humor that Aquafina brings to it, her usual sass and pizzazz. Very funny, very street smart, street cred, street wise. Very good character in the film. Morris was adorable also. I love his little lack of face and just general cuteness. He looks really nice. Just going over him real quick. He's kind of bare bones. Good sculpting over here. Pretty good paint. I love the uh, sheen under the wings. I feel like it wasn't really that accurate to the film, though. This could have been a little shinier or something. But, again, he had promotional pictures. So what are you going to do? I guess. Going back to Katie. She comes with these two hands right over here. These fists. They're pretty neat. I think they're like a reuse of some other mold. Probably. Put those to the side. Let's go to the face sculpt. Looks really kind of bland, honestly, to me. 
looks a lot like Aquafina. don't get me wrong. I think the face sculpt is on point. It just is an expression I don't think she would have during the film. Something with a smile, something with a joke, you know. Just this bland expression, you don't see her too much with it. You know, maybe make the eyes more worried or something, a little more open, I'm not sure. But it's a good face sculpt nonetheless. It looks nice. I kind of like the hair. It kind of drapes over here. It's kind of annoying though. I don't really like this that much. Uh, it's okay. It's a good coloring. It just doesn't really, you know, isn't that great. Uh, the head is on a dumbbell joint, so you get a lot of the good movement, yet it's hindered a lot by the hair. The hair is a solid piece. It's kind of a shame. But you get good, some good movement there. This piece is really annoying, by the way. I don't like this at all. How this is done, they could have pegged it in the back or something or redone it. But as far as accessories go, she has this bow, she has some arrows, one arrow, and then a bunch of arrows together to make it look like there's a, more arrows in here. It's kind of weird. But I don't think I'll really use them because it's really hard for her to hold the bow and arrow. It's, you have to like pry her hand and then fit this in before the fingers close up. And it's just really, really annoying to do. So I'm not even going to try on camera. It's going to take way too long. So just having her stand there is fine by me. I like how she had the bow and arrow stuff in the movie. It worked out pretty well. But I don't have anything to fire the bow and arrow at really. It doesn't really make much sense. They need to maybe release a few more characters from this movie. That'd be really good. But as far as that goes, we're just going to table that for never putting this back in an annoying fashion. It's kind of really hard to get in there. Thank you. Uh, I like the brown of the strap. It's it's okay. It's just, you know, the tie is really nice. Good detail. Give it some weathering or something. It looks too plasticky to me. I like her... Jeez, uh, I'm not going to... To me, it looks like a kimono. I'm not sure what it's actually called. But it looks really nice. This sort of dress thing. I love the the flower pattern on that. It's all the way through onto the back. Good touch. Also with some sort of stitching right there. Looks very nice. Looks really good. And as far as her articulation goes for that, up, down, all the way around, hindered by the this stupid bow. I'm just going to take it off. It's really annoying me. I don't really understand why I have it. I mean, I like it, but eh, whatever. It's just way too annoying to have. Go away. Good. Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry, back to that. Around all the way, up here, down, that very, you can kind of like break her arm a little bit. You may have this in the wrong axis or something. Yeah, it's better. Okay, there is an up and down way to that. So we'll go around all the way, go up and down right here. You can pry your fingers open, but they're gonna close instantly. She has a sort of swivelly joint over here. Looks really nice. Ooh, wow, all the way down there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, if you want to take her apart, you could actually take off the dress bottom part and have it so she could have her regular just legs over here. A lot of people are using this to make Jinx from G.I. Joe, so that's that's really good. Uh, her legs don't really have the best articulation with this skirt, so they go out this far. And then you kind of have to swivel around here and then down and then up. I like the character. I'm just not a big fan of the figure. The Sandals are painted pretty good. Overall, good figure, great character, but not the best. I like Morris, he's cute, but it doesn't really evoke... I don't know, I, I, used, I like the, the characters a lot, I just don't like the figures that much. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. I think Wen Wu is one of the best Marvel villains we've seen recently. He's really awesome. I like him a lot. There is a little wobble here, which I just realized it's a shame. Oh well. Okay, yeah, Wen Wu's great. I like him. A, I like him. Just he's really cool. Just really, really great figure, or a great character at least. Good figure actually. Aside from this little wobble, oh, now it's gone. Okay, so whatever. I'm getting ahead of myself. I love all the sculpting, all the detail and everything, all the paint is really nice on him. I think actually he's, I think a little better than Shang-Chi, or at least on par with Shang-Chi in some ways. So getting close up, very good face of the actor, forgot his name, but he was great. I really liked him a lot. Yeah, really nice portrait here. I don't know why there's some scuffing over here. That's kind of weird. I barely played with these or touched them. So yeah, great face sculpt, great hair, you know. Moving on, 
He has a ball joint, dumbbell joint, so you get all the good poses on the head. It's really neat. He has a waist torso right over here. He can roll around, go up and down. His arm can go up, it's hindered by this shoulder pad. This arm can go up pretty far, but it's sort of hindered by the detents in the sculpt. And this other shoulder pad, the smaller one. His articulation is pretty good. Detents are just hard to work around. Goes up, goes down, goes around, goes up, goes down. I like these sort of clawing hands, they're pretty cool. Waist, we already covered that. Can't really go that far with this skirt piece in the way, although it looks really cool. I love it. I love the paint on this. It looks very nice. Really awesome. Also, we have the ten rings. What am I talking about? The ten rings. Looks really great right here on that. Really cool. Nice bronze color, too. They look nice. They painted them really well over the arms, so that's good. I don't like the separation because of the pegs. They could have done pegless. I'm not sure why. They didn't redo the entire arm. It would have been great. Uh, the knees, uh, kind of tough, kind of tough to actually get a full knee bend, but, I mean, you get a half knee bend, that's okay. Go down the foot, up in the foot, you can't swivel, that's weird. They didn't make a swivel on this? Okay, wow, maybe he's not as good as I thought. Great villain, bad figure. Nice silver over here, though, looks really good. Yeah, and then he comes with this piece right here. Looks looks pretty cool. It's a little staff that has a little hook on the end. I'm not sure what you use it for. It doesn't comedy shows. It's hard to put it into his hand though. That's the issue. You can't. You have to. And again, the hands on these figures are really weird. It's like they're regressing to like GI Joe or something. GI Joe classified at least. Yeah, it doesn't really want to open up, and I'm not gonna, even going to try that well. He also comes with two fists for punching, and he usually does a punch of punch uh, motion when he uses the rings. So that's pretty neat. Overall, I like his figure a lot. He has some shortcomings, though, but he's still, I think, second with Shang-Chi. The third is Katie. Zha Ling is a really poor character in the film. She was very stoic and cold, and I kind of get why, but it was just a lot of just... Come on, open up a little bit or something, you know? I understand the past trauma and everything, but it's like... She's just so stoic and cold and dour, and... I don't, I don't like it at all. I like her figure a lot, though. Except her face is really uh, just sort of like a doll, very bland, very, very, it doesn't match stoic, it matches blank, like nothing is going on there anymore at all, at least. I like the bowl cut though, it looks very nice, very, very good. On that I love the intricacies of her sort of like tunic here, her shirt thing. They paint the back which is really nice, I like this a lot. Looks beautiful. You know, it's really good. I like the sort of there's sort of a scaly material right here. It's great. Good figure so far. As far as and the pants are super useful for like customizers. They're like great and e they're even actually pretty easy to take off. I think so that that works great. But she can go out this far, hindered a little bit by these sort of lapels on her on her uh, sort of shirt, sort of like skirt portion of it at least. They go up this far, back this far, not really that far at all. Pinless legs go up really well. Touches the butt. That's awesome. Swivels around the top. Down. Up. Pivot. No swivel elsewhere. It's fine. I'm good with that. Rotation here with a ball. Rotation here with a ball. Same thing we've seen with all the other figures. Goes up. Goes down. All the way around. Up. It's a little higher than 90. I like that a lot. That's great. So it was around and goes up and down. And then same other same the other arm. Yeah, good figure. Good articulation. I like her a lot. I'm gonna put her probably above Wen Wu, depending on the accessories. This is worthless. I'm sorry. It just give me a regular rope, you know, with these pieces attached. That'd be great. That's awesome though. I like this rope thing. It's pretty cool. Come useful with something, you give it to some other figure or whatever. She also comes with two fists and two of those snapping finger. I uh, know two of those snapping fingers again, right here. Again, this is more like the Italian kind of like. This is really yummy hand motion. I like it a lot. We also have this hand right here that I think is designed to hold these, so you can fit that in there, and that's a way better fit than a lot of the other accessories in this 
lines or this, this wave at least so I'll give it to him that's this is great I'm probably gonna put her above maybe Wenwu so it's Wenwu Jialing not Wenwu it's uh, Shang-Chi Jialing Wenwu Katie and we'll see what the last one is in just a moment the last figure in this lineup is Death Dealer and just to talk a little bit about the movie and spoil it a little bit spoilers for this character there's no point to him at all he trains Shang-Chi, he has some fight scenes, and then he dies without you ever seeing his face. It's so dumb. There's all this build-up and then nothing. I feel like Marvel trying to subvert it on purpose, but I, I don't really like it at all. Beautiful figure. I like him a lot. Actually, I might put him above, above Katie now that I'm thinking about it. Katie's good, but this guy just has a lot of potential and looks really cool and He's a little or he's also orange and I have a nice penchant for orange. Really great paint detail on him. So let's zoom in a bit. Talk about the face. I like this face a lot. Uh, kabuki, I'm guessing. It looks like a kabuki mask to me. You know. The only thing I've heard kabuki is Big Hero 6, so uh, yeah, that's my frame of reference. And it looks really nice. I love it a lot. It looks very plasticky, which is kind of the point, I think. I'm not sure if it's skin or plastic, I forget from the movie. Also this little ponytail right up here. Pretty cool. Very nice, uh, good texture all the way around. Really cool. Different from all the other figures. It's not a, uh, a dumbbell joint, but it has really nice articulation and movement. You can look up and down, rotating this around, moving it around a little bit. There, down, up, cool. Up with the arm right here, twist. Elbow looks pretty good. I love these these little sort of like these are nice. These little bands look really great. The armor is pretty cool as well. The sculpting is amazing on this figure. They put all their sculpting budget into one figure, and I'm really proud of it. I'm really glad. Maybe that's why Shang Chi's back is blank. Yeah, these are unmovable. By the way, it's a real shame. I hate it. The hands are pretty cool. They're armored with a glove. They can go up. They can go down. I swear these are Deadpool's hands. It's kind of weird. You actually probably, probably use it for Deadpool. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, jeez. About the waist. It's a waist of... Oh, it swivels actually around. You can swivel that around. So get a little motion there. Pretty neat. No crunch or anything. I think underneath this, someone opened it up and it was like the Ant-Man body, which is a real nice surprise. You could see some, you know, armor under there. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Armored up body. The legs go out this far. I am incredibly surprised about that. That's pretty cool, going out that far on the legs. This this kind of hinders it, but not as much as I thought it would. I'm really glad and proud of them that they did something like this and made it work really well. Goes up this far on one, and on the, oh wow, this is actually really nice. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this guy a little higher up than I probably initially did. Wow. Wow, I love this. I don't know why the pegs on this are... Why are the pegs... No, it's black on one side. And why is it... Okay, that's weird. Yeah, the pegs are kind of funky on this. I wish they did black over here. I don't know why they're doing blue again. That makes no sense to me, especially when this is black right up here. So that's kind of weird. I like these. I'm going to use them somewhere. I honestly love these little armor pieces. They're silver. They're pretty cool. They can be used on anybody. For anybody. Get some good knee articulation right here you'd kind of be sacrificing this little coattail but eh whatever got some nice printing on the side right here looks very good on the other side right over here uh, no boot swivel it's a shame but you can't really do that with this good sculpt over here down and up an ankle pivot very clicky ankle pivot just saying and I think all the figures have two peg holes in the bottom of their feet just just letting you all know but yeah this character was kind of a waste of space in the movie it's a crying shame. I would like to see him more, but yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of doesn't make much sense to me. The hands are splayed out. They're pretty cool. I wish he came with punching hands. I think he's been confirmed to be a he in the movie. So yeah, we have a hand that can hold one of these knives. A hand that throws the knives. We have more knives back here that can't move. Grr. Yeah, these also bend pretty easily. So store them in a place where they won't bend. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the hands go down and back, and then down and back. Pretty good articulation. 
I'm gonna put this guy probably third. So, I, or fourth maybe, no, I don't know, uh, third. So yeah, who do we have in our rotation? Katie is at the bottom. I wish she was better, but she kind of like slouches and hunches over. Weak ankles and stuff, you know, right over here. And then I think we're gonna put Wenwu, sadly, great sculpted figure, but you know, the hands holding the weapon don't really, you know, matter at all. And then we're going to put Death Dealer, because he just looks so cool. They're just awesome. Then we got Zha Ling right here. Come on, Katie. That's why, that's why you're on the bottom. I'm sorry. <laughs> then we also have Shang-Chi. And number one figure in the wave is Morris. Morris is the best. Morris towers over all. Morris is amazing. So as far as height goes for these characters, Shang-Chi is about six inches tall, maybe six and a quarter. Zha Ling is almost six inches tall, right up to there. Death Deer is about to the top of his ponytail, around 6.5 inches. Wen Wu is around six and a quarter inch, maybe a third. And Katie is at five and a half inches, maybe a little bit more than that. Good height scaling for the figures, but also let's go with Morris and see how tall Morris is. What? Like an inch? Inch and a half? I would guess. I mean, inch and a half for Morris. But solid assortment of figures, and overall, I find that this is a really good wave. Not the best, not great, but really good. I, maybe 75%. It's pretty nice for me to see. It's not the best grade, but they're all good figures. I like them. I just don't love them all. They could they all have their flaws. They all could use some improvements. I think overall, you know, the best one is Death Dealer, but he doesn't have the articulation that Shang-Chi and Zha Ling have. Wenwu could be better, but he's held back by some inner inconsistencies with his the rings and then that sort of this messing up with the articulation. And no boot swivel. You could easily do that. I don't get it. And Katie is great, but she can't really stand that well. You have to really finicky, finicky, you know, pose her around. Whereas everyone could stand just like a drop of a hat. Yeah, good figures, not great figures. And I wish they had some improvements. They could have been amazing. And here's everyone next to Jesse Heck Creative. I'm keeping this forever. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!